Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and write down the comments below if you have to say something. Hey guys, it's me Nasty and welcome to my channel, Nasty's Voice. Here we go. Spiritual awakening, like floods everywhere, earthquakes, uh, demons, Satan. And wow, there are so many things are going on right now in the world. And as I know, that's just the beginning. I want to talk with you about it. So recently, I can see so many videos on TikTok where like people saying that they did wake up, that they see that this is all our life. It's just the matrix. It's just a game. Uh, also, people saying that the prophecies that was written in the Bible, they are happening right now and that so many things are about to come and happen here with us with the whole world like the whole planet the whole world is about to change and it's already started but the most important thing what i want to talk about those people they say that we need to wake up that we need to prepare and if you won't make your frequencies high it's gonna be a very hard thing for you to live here in the new dimension and stuff like that so in this video, I want to explain something for people who don't know much about the spirituality and, but like you do believe in that, you do believe that this is the actual truth and you just want to know how to deal with it, what to do, or maybe you don't need to do anything. I want to explain you my point of view, just my opinion. This is the way I feel. This is the way I understand it. And I really think that maybe it's going to be helpful for you as well. This is the first yeah, I think this is the fourth time I'm trying to make this video. I'm just saying, I'm I'm just thinking that I'm saying too much. And uh, yeah, so I've decided to go straight to the point with a bit of explanation. What does that mean, the spiritual awakening? If be honest, I think that the main point of that is that you're gonna believe that you are you are a very powerful creature and this is the most important thing for many many years we were told and we were fooled that we just humans we are not capable of something incredible powerful we are not able to change our realities we can't heal ourselves we can build this we can build that so it's just like yeah and the main point it's not true we were fooled the reality is human beings are very powerful we are that much powerful that we don't need medicine to heal our diseases yes you heard me we don't need any medicine to heal our diseases we don't need to go to the job that we don't like we can make our dreams come true we can move things we can levitate we can do astral traveling we can do we can read other people's minds and many, many more. And all of that is true. And this is not, it's just the top of the iceberg. I'm not saying so many things just because the video is not about that. So the main thing about the spirituality, about the spiritual awakening is to finally for humans believe how powerful we are. We can change our realities easily. We can do incredible things by our own. And that is possible. And that is actually our nature. We were born like this. Okay. And this is the time for us to wake up and to remember who we are and what we are capable of. Okay. This is what about spirituality. This is what about spiritual awakening. We have to start to live our lives the way we're supposed to do that. And it means that, it simply means that you don't need to struggle. You don't need to suffocating. 
you don't need to, you know, to be unhappy anymore. Because your soul, your actual nature is to be happy. That's it. This is actually uh, the main point of spiritual awakening and all what is happening. We are the perfect beings of light. One more time. We are the perfect beings of light. So it means when you go here on earth, you're supposed to, of course, you do need to learn your lessons and stuff. But you see, most of the people, they do not pass the lessons because they stuck with this mindset and mentality that, that was raised us. And at the end, when we die, we like mostly we unhappy. We didn't do many things we wanted to do because we were chasing the money, the career, the success and something else. And during your life, like there were like a lot of moments when you betrayed yourself and stuff like that. So the spiritual awakening is about to stop against yourself, to stop against your heart and the dreams you want to make come true. The spiritual awakening is about to make yourself happy. Well, actually, your soul is already happy because, again, you are a perfect being of light and your soul is always happy and fulfilled and your soul knows everything. That's why there is a phrase like, you you have all the answers whatever whatever question you have you do have an answer inside the point is we were taught do not listen to ourselves do not trust ourselves and listen to somebody else and find the answers from somebody else but the point is everyone is unique that is true so how can you ask somebody else what you should do if you are different you're different. It means what was good for that person. Maybe it's not going to work for you, which is okay. So the main thing you're going to do, you need to find the answer by yourself. And the main point that right now, the new era is coming. And it means you can't against yourself anymore. If you're going to keep against yourself, it would be very hard for you to survive in the new world. Because the new era that is coming is about to help you remember who you are and how powerful and creative you are. Now, this is the time where we have to finally follow our hearts, okay? We have to follow our hearts because this is the only right way for us to live. That's it. This is the, in my opinion, this is what is spiritual awakening about, is to follow your heart, follow your path, go past your lessons, and just be open, be happy, do what you really love to do, be with the people that you want to be, appreciate yourself, love yourself, and share that love that you have inside. Be grateful and share that gratitude to others. This is... This is all about that. That's it. It sounds easy, but for many years we were trained to not believe in stuff like that and to think it's something hypothetical. But it is not. This is the actual tools that can make us live the lives we want to live. You're powerful. You're so powerful. It's time to believe in that. For many years, you were suffocating, you were suffering because of your family, your kids, your nationality, uh, poverty, or whatever, and you could not do something you really wanted to do. But from the higher level of frequencies and from the light workers that are watching us and that are helping us, those just the fears. And the fear is a low vibration that keeps us doing the things we don't want to do, that makes us feel miserable and unhappy, okay? It's okay. Uh, fear has its own purpose. But the main point 
we have to learn how to follow our hearts regardless any fears okay so yeah the spiritual awakening is about to finally listen to yourself always i'm sure there were so many situations in your life when maybe you went somewhere but you felt like no i don't want to go there I really don't think I need to go there. But you did go because like you needed. Maybe it was an important meeting or whatever. And then something shitty happened. I'm sure you had situations like that. I had a lot. A lot. And that's for sure happened with all of us. Because when you do have inner voice that tells you. No, I don't want to go. I don't feel like I want to go there. There is a reason. This is your inner voice, your soul, your higher self, you can call it wherever, tells you. There is something bad for you. You don't need to go there. That's why, like, for millions of years, we, we were trained and fooled that we don't need to listen to that voice. We, don't, we, do, we, do need, we do need to listen to somebody else. But the point is, it's not true. I'm saying always, for many, many years, what is coming from your heart is always right what is coming from inside is always right even though it doesn't make any sense you can't explain that there is no logic there is no explanation but you feel this way follow that feeling follow your intuition that's your protection can you imagine how many shitty bad and terrible situations we could avoid if we would just listen our inner voice You need to stop, ignore that. You have to follow it, okay? This is the only way. Go back to yourself. You need to start listening. What do you want? If you're busy with the kids, with the jobs, with the chores, with the responsibilities, you need to find a minute for yourself. You need to sit down with yourself and ask, okay, what do I want? What is all of this about? What about me? What do I want? What makes me happy? This is the main thing you gotta do. Every day, you, your main job, okay? Your main job to make yourself feel safe happy and grateful you're gonna feel joy and if at the beginning of this journey your spiritual awakening you don't see the reasons in your life right now to feel happy to feel joy it's okay maybe at the beginning it's a bit hard and and challenging but but you're gonna start with the small things and it's gonna grow as an advice, I can recommend you to every day, okay, every day, take a list of paper, a notebook, wh whatever is this, okay, and write down five things that you're grateful for today. So you got up from your bed, okay, you go, you don't go to brush your teeth, or something like this. You you do not give yourself start thinking that mentality you used to have, okay? So you got up from your bed, you sit down, you take your piece of paper, notebook or whatever, and you immediately write in five things that you are grateful for today. This is literally, thank you that I woke up. Thank you that I do have my breakfast. Thank you, yesterday I bought nice panties. Thank you, I have hot water. Thank you, my family is healthy. Like whatever, it could be whatever. While you're writing, maybe you'll, you'll get the ideas what else you're grateful for today. Write down. As mo if, you, if, you, if you write more, it's even better. But you're, not, you're gonna do that every single day. And day by day, 
you're gonna see more and more good things in your life and it's gonna change everything trust me it will i really hope that this video was very helpful for you and you do have more understanding now what is spiritual awakening which is one more time it's actually about to go back to yourself believe in yourself and follow your heart and do what makes you feel happy and feel happy every single day this is all what is spiritual awakening about okay so yeah hope you feel great now <laughs> because i am I feel great. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, share this video with your friends and family, and see you in my next video. Bye!